to the allegation that you left transitional housing on August 23rd without permission of the court. How do you plead? Welcome to Rebel Chaser. My name is Gail, and this is part two to the last clip I did with the woman who was beaten in the parking lot by her boyfriend, the court parking lot. So this is a, a second part to that. Um, let me know what you guys think. All right, this is the People versus JCO. Jeffrey Sands on behalf of Ms. Hall. All right, so we're here today. I, I honestly, there's been such a mess on this case in the last two days that I don't really know what we're here for at this point. Violation hearing, but and uh, we go over the uh, alleged violations with my client. She's prepared to plead guilty to those. She understands she has the right to have a hearing. Understands by entering plea of guilty, she'd waive that right and all the rights she would have at that. Hearing. Understand that, Miss Owens. You got to speak loud and clear yes. for them. All right, she's got to take down what you say. Did you sign and date this advice of rights form? All right, you understand if you enter a plea of guilty, you'd be waiving the hearing rights on that form. There'll be no hearing of any kind. Okay. So to the allegation, you failed to appear for drug testing on the 17th, 18th, and 21st of August. How do you plead? Yes. To the allegation, you failed to attend the fan meeting on August 17th, 2023. How do you plead? No, speak up. Yes. To the allegation you failed to attend the alumni meeting on August 21st, how do you plead? Yeah. To the allegation you failed to attend a drug test on August 22nd and left the building, how do you plead? Yeah. To the allegation that you left transitional housing on August 23rd without permission of the court, how do you plead? And to the allegation that you tested positive on August 24th for cocaine and Oxycontin and admitted to using on 822, how do you plead? All right, I'm going to accept the pleas as knowing and voluntarily given. JC, I've never had a case as serious as yours. I, I never have. I've never encountered something like this before. I'm scared. Well, I get that, but I'm telling you, I called other judges that run treatment courts or used to. I, I've had meetings with Mr. Fanto, Kara, anyone that I could that could give some guidance on how to help you. And I know you think I'm, you know, just the worst, meanest person mm -hmm. ever. Listen, I'm not putting you in jail today, but you deserve to go. You know that. Mm -hmm. So bad. Like, I, I'm, I, even I'm surprised I'm not putting you in jail. But you are not, you cannot keep, who picked you up last night? Just, just a friend. Is it the same friend that beat your face in the day before? JC, you got bad friends, man. You were you're going to change your life now. There are girls in that house that you're going to meet that are in this program. There's one in particular that you're going to meet. When she came into this program, she wasn't much different than you are. She really wasn't. And she is excelling right now. And I'm hoping that you will take a look at her and you will see all of this progress that she's made in under two years. It's, it's incredible. Every time I see her, my face lights up because I cannot believe that she's done what she's done. All kinds of hurdles, all kinds of trauma. And I'm really hoping that you'll get a chance to meet her um, and just see what a difference a year and a half or nearly two years in your life can make. You can be a healthy, productive, functional member of society. You can have rights to your kids. You, there, you have so much potential. And I'm really going to try with you. But you have to understand, we're. if I was going to throw you in jail today, JC, the reason I was going to throw you in is because JC wants to do things her way. And we're done doing things your way. You are not capable right now of making good decisions. You're just not. And that's okay. We're doing things my way. And you're going to listen to me. And you're going to follow my orders. And you can ask. Sandy will tell you who it is. Ask her. Did she finally say, okay, judge, we'll do it your way? And ask her how far it's gotten her. I have your best interest at heart. I am not doing any of this to punish you or be cruel to you. I'm doing this because I think that if you go with her, 
and you stay at one of these houses for a little while, no, it's not ideal. Nobody, nobody wants to stay in a house with a bunch of women, right? Even, especially women. But I'm telling you right now, you need a sisterhood. You need other women who have been through trauma like you've been through and have life experiences like you who are, be, who are successful so that you can model yourself after them so that you can learn how much potential you have. But you, this guy, your boyfriend in quotation marks is not a good man and he is not good for you. And I'm never going to like him. I'm serious. That guy could walk on water and literally be Jesus Christ. And I would not like him. He's not good for you. He's a bad person. I saw that. We all saw it. We all know it. So work on you. Who cares about that guy? Who cares about any of those people? Care about you. Put you first. When's the last time you put you ahead of everyone? Addiction wins, right? And all these men that treat you terribly win because that's what you think of yourself. You got to come in tomorrow. We got to get you in here tomorrow so we get your therapy started. Okay? You seem Good. like you're in a little bit of a better mindset. You're a little calmer. I had about 30 minutes of sleep. <laughs> okay, well, just a lot of pain. Uh, one thing I, I said, she would probably do well by getting a physical. If that's something that can be arranged. Yeah, I'm not sure how. I don't disagree. I don't know if she needs to go to urgent care. I know that we're working on getting her benefits switched because her benefits are from Monroe right now, and we're trying to get them switched to Wayne County. It's just, I think just in something in the relatively near future, because I think just in general, that she would benefit from a, a physical, just to get a baseline to see where she's at. Sandy, do you have access to? I have an addictionologist that is a walking distance. That's my doctor. She's amazing, Dr. Pretty. Um, well, Dr. Pretty? I know. Don't you love that? I do. Yes. Does she do physicals for the women? She, uh, she, she's only done a couple of my customers because that was my doctor. I was trying to keep her off from me, but you know I can't be selfish. Uh, I can. We can call there tomorrow and set up an appointment. My concern is on um, medicine. So my concern right now is if she uses me as I need her to lift that bra, make sure nothing falls out, and I need to go through that stuff. See if there's anything else in that in that stuff. So I cannot give her access to her stuff that's in the back of my car until I have somebody to go through all that. Do you understand all that? Did you do levels on she her can, drug What's that? Did you do levels on her drug screen or just a... We don't have the actual... We don't it's have... Instant, I don't know. Yeah, it's just the instant uh -huh. test because our lab doesn't open until 4.30. Yeah, I, and I understand. And uh, I just need to make sure that none of that uh, puts my site at risk. Yeah, uh, because I, you know, I'd like, I want to trust her. We want, of course, we all want to help her, but I have to make sure that everybody else is safe too. So she cannot have access, uh, you know, I'll, and I'll make sure and, you know, make sure nothing's under in there or, um, you know, in the shoes or anything. Uh, and then as soon as I can get somebody to go with the administrator to go through her, her stuff that's in the back of my truck so that you can have access to it. Okay. I mean, she has, but you she has understand that, JC, if you're going into a women's house, she's going to have to make sure you don't have anything in your bra. You can't bring any dope in that place. I have nothing and I don't want it. And I have no reason not to believe her. I, I just need to, I, that's my job is to protect the baby oh, sure. and the other 25 girls, right? Yeah, yeah but JC, you understand why, right? Listen to me, JC. No one said you got it. Nobody's, nobody's accusing you of having it. We're just saying she, Sandy's got to check all of that. Just perfect. All right. And here's the other thing. You can't leave that house again. Okay. I, I'm, I'm, I don't want to say I'm giving you a pass for yesterday. Right. Well, she'll be in Lincoln Park now. She'll, she'll be in Lincoln Park tonight. <laughs> oh, and then she's going to the other house. I read right. she'll be at Stanford House and uh, she'll have to crash on the couch tonight and then Angie's going to replace me tonight because my sponsor is not having an event. So Angie's going to replace me tonight, run my group tonight and then uh, and then hopefully tomorrow when she's placed in a bed at Angie's that at least she'll see a familiar face and she'll meet Angie tonight. Okay, so, good. Now she said she wants You're going to love Angie. You're going to yeah, love these yeah, women. I told her that. 
you know, and, and she's I, the like, one so, who runs the house. Sandy runs one house and Angie runs another. But we're sisters. Her, me and Angie are like so close. It's like bread and butter, man. So she's really cool. You're going to love her. You're going to like Angie. Yeah. You're going to like these women if you give this a chance. I like the one girl day. But... JC, don't run. No, I'm not going to. Okay, run. try I, I did what I did to get myself together. Try, try our way. I am. For a yeah. week or two. I know. I'm so honestly. I'm so happy you're I, here. I've been here I, for two I, nights, worried about you. I really didn't want to come. Well, you did, and look at you making good choices. <laughs> and didn't a terrible wanted to run. I, I, I'm but just terrible. She, she chose <laughs> to stay. Stay. Show her what I taught you today. Show her what I taught you today. Oh, Change comes freedom. <laughs> JC, I believe in you. I have faith in you, and I don't think anyone has in probably a really long time. I think you can do this. I'm rooting for you, okay? Thanks. Hang in there. If you need to talk to Kara, talk to Kara, but we gotta get you on D win. We gotta get you started in treatment or none of this is gonna work. I don't know what level of care you need. I don't know any of that. So we'll make some calls, but Sandy, I know you've got a lot of women you're trying to take care of. I don't know if we need to get her here by Uber tomorrow. How we need to get her? Here. I I can probably bring her. I got a case at eight thirty, and then and that should be quick. Um, but I can probably bring her tomorrow. Um, you know, if if you want, and uh, and uh, you know, what, whatever we can do, I'm better in the AM. Well, she's needs the sooner she's here, the sooner we can get her going. What what and what time is that good for you? I mean, if she's here at 8.30, Kara might have other appointments, but you'll just squeak, get her here, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll okay, good. All right, good. I'll make sure she's here in the morning then, because I believe in her, too. You're going to be okay. Just give this a little while. I know it's it's tough, but I'm like, I'm just so happy you're here, <laughs> and I'm really, really, you can do this. And most of her stars are in the inside, Judge. Yep, that's what we got to get her going, but okay. Thank you, Judge. All right, JC. Um, make sure you're here in the morning with Miss Sandy. And Sandy, um, do you want to run down to probation real quick? And I'll meet you down there before you <laughs> I got something I want to give you. Well, some of you guys called that. She was not going to stay, and she didn't. <laughs> um, it would have been nice if the judge had maybe pressed her a little more about who picked her up exactly. Hopefully it wasn't the boyfriend. Hopefully, hopefully. Ugh. Anyway, she got lucky. She got very, very lucky that she didn't go to jail. She could have gone to jail. Maybe she should have gone to jail. Um, she should have gone to jail. So she got really lucky. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.